I always wanted to make a video to show how to fold vestments. So this is what I'm going to show you. The two vestments that are more difficult to fold are the Sicarion and the Philonion. The other vestments are more self-explanatory and easy to fold. You just fold according to where the creases are. So I'm going to show you uh, how to fold the Sicarion right now. And then I'm going to show you two ways to fold the Philonion, depending on whether the Philonion is a Philonion with um, a lot of brocades, or very hard, kind of like uh, Philonion, with um, a fordra, as you say in Greek, which is to say um, a lining, or if it's a soft one that doesn't have a lining, like a summer version. So I'll show you both of those versions. So now, here, we're going to fold the Sicario. So the reason we fold our vestments is because they're expensive, and if you want them to last, you should fold them, rather than hanging them up. Because if you hang them up, eventually gravity is going to, is going to take its toll on them, and they're actually going to get ruined after many, many years. So it's a shame, because it's, uh, it's your investment, and um, we need to treat them correctly. So the best thing to do is always fold your investments and never hang them up on a hanger. So another rule of thumb is when you make your investments, whoever makes the vestments, if they can fold them in such a way, or make the creases in such a way that uh, you can fold it inside out, it's better. Because that's another way of preserving the vestments for a long time. So this Sicarion I have here is actually, the creases are, you're gonna see when I turn it inside out, it'll be perfect for me to fold it. So how do you make it? Right now it's, it's in the normal position. Now I'm gonna make it go inside out. You're going to clip it, and then this is the back, inside out, you see the cross? Basically what you're going to do is, is a crease going right down the back. So it's like the spinal cord. Think of the spinal cord. You're going to go like this, and then you're going to find both of the sleeves, and both of the sleeves have a crease on them, and you're going to kind of like, you're going to make it nice and tight. And then you're going to grab it right here, let it fall, very simple. And then, maybe show it here, you're going to find where this crease ends, and then you're going to get it to the other crease that ends here, join them together, and then make it nice and straight, and then you're going to put it on the table. This one has a crease this way. So you can see the way this crease runs sort of like in the middle. So what you're gonna do is simply and you see there's a crease here. Another crease here. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to fold it in half. There's a crease here, right in half. Then you're going to turn it upside down, turn it around, and then fold it again. Okay. Now we're going to do the Filonia. So this Philonion has a brocade, it's kind of hard, and it also has a lining on the inside. So what you're going to do is, again, fold it inside out. So what you're going to do is, you're going to lay it down here, like this. See this big crease? Well, simply fold it there. And then there's a crease here. Can you see that? Fold it right there. Like, these are like wings, almost like wings. You're closing your wings. Okay? And then there's a crease here and a crease here. So, you're simply going to go like this.
and like this. Then you see that this one, okay, there's a fold, there's a crease down here. You use that crease. Got some wax here. And then in half. It's very nice. Now I want to show you another version of folding a felonium. A felonium is like a summer felonium, which is very light and doesn't have a lining. Uh, there's a different way of folding it that is convenient. So, again, you're gonna make it, you're gonna fold it inside out. So, inside out. that I showed you before, there's a crease right along the back. So it's kind of like the spinal cord again. So you're going to go on that, like that. Got it like this. There's a crease right in the middle. You're going to fold it in half. Then you're going to fold it in half again. And then you're going to lay it down. And you see, the way I've trained it, you might say, just from, from, from folding it for so many years, there's a crease right here. So we're gonna fold it like that, along that crease. And then again, there's a crease here, and you fold it in half, and it's all done. So, one more thing I wanna show you. put them in a little, you might say, um, cloth container. So, what you do is you put this square piece of cloth on a table. You need two of these. You're going to put this as if the cloth is a diamond, okay? And as you see, we have the felonion on, on, on the bottom. It's the, most, it's the biggest one. And then on top of the felonion is the stichardion. And then you could put whatever, other, whatever else you want on top of that. And what we do is we simply close it like this, nicely and tightly. And then close this, nice and tight, again. And you're all set. This way you can preserve it and it'll last 100 years.